didn't call this meeting order. If y'all will buy me a word of prayer before we start. Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you for giving us another opportunity to be here today. Lord, thank you for giving us a day that, that you never promised us, Lord. And I thank you for the people in this room that are first willing to serve this community and, and second willing to be a part of this community. So we want to thank and uh, ask you to bless America. And uh, Lord, we know we need you now most before the end, but, but uh, we're going to ask you to bring your blessings upon us. And, and uh, thank you for everything you give us. Most of all, thank you for sending Jesus to die on the cross for us. Forgive us in the many ways we fail you. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 All right. Got a personal prayer first, Mark Clinton. Thank you, Mayor. Sure. Mayor, Arlen, thank y'all for having me here tonight. Uh, I'll keep it brief. I'm here on behalf of the New Albany Next Commission. Uh, and we just have a resolution that should be in front of all of you. Uh, it's to adopt a complete streets policy uh, for the city of New Albany. It seems to be right in line with the comprehensive plan. Uh, essentially, the complete streets policy is a movement um, across America. Last decade or so, and Hernando's adopted at South Haven, Tupelo, Oxford, Meridian, Hattiesburg and then I think every town in Arkansas and Alabama. What it does is it opens up a door for the city for additional grant funding to complete your streets, to complete your sidewalks, to make uh, roads and sidewalks across um, the town uh, accessible for all users. And by all users, I mean um, pedestrians, bicyclists, transit uh, passengers, uh, and vehicles designed to, uh, in a way, implement it uh, as most have been, um, to just make the city more accessible and tra travel more efficient. Um, this, there's no you know, cost associated with this. It's not, it's not tying y'all down to anything in the future other than a, a consistent commitment uh, to, to a complete a complete city plan where it's, everything flows and moves in an efficient, uh, cohesive manner. That's what I have. Do I have any questions? Are you are you saying any new streets or any or all any all streets? I guess is my question. <laughs> yeah. So it, the idea is that the overall plan would be yes to eventually have where every either every street here's the, the I guess the more clear answer yeah I'll, I'll call okay you've got you've got two phases or two options that people choose they'll either overhaul every street and sidewalk or uh, in the, let's say for example uh, you want to start with um, implementing this plan between here and the park or here in uh, you know the ball field then you would complete the streets and the sidewalks necessary to, uh, you know, move efficiently uh, and make it available for all users on that path. They don't so it doesn't have to be every street. That's obviously the goal. Uh, but where most have started out, and Hernando is a great example of this, are having a few thoroughfares where most of their folks are going anywhere, or, you know, or all of their travel or all of their extracurriculars or whatever it may be from their town center to this, this place of, of activity, making that accessible, whether you're on a bike, whether you're on foot, whether you're in a car, where everybody moves at the same ease as, an, as another. So by adopting this, we're committing making ourselves available to get grant dollars or just? Yes. I mean, you're also make, you're also committing to uh, this plan that I just described, but that's also consistent with the comprehensive plan um, that's been you know laid out in the past. And so, uh, the biggest benefit is the grant funding. I mean, that's the that's the carrot. 
Mr. McClendon, does the board have a, a written copy of the resolution you're proposing? They do. We do. So in other words, if we built a new sidewalk, we're committing to make that an accessible sidewalk. That's correct. That's pretty much what this yeah, is. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, and this opens you up. Uh, you know, if you pass this policy and you've got this, you know, in your minutes, and this is, you know, part of your comprehensive plan, uh, then you've got the grant funding available, additional grant funding available that would not otherwise be available to construct or repair or refurbish those sidewalks and roads. So what are the negatives to doing this? I don't know. I don't know any negatives. I mean, I'm not trying to hide the ball there. I, I just don't see any negative to it, and I have not heard any town that has passed it and then regretted it, or a town that has been presented the option and chose not to opt into it or not to pass the policy. I don't really see where the negative would be unless we didn't want this to be the end result. Well, the only thing I see is. Goal not having the property like I mean first thing popped in my mind mm -hmm. is supposed to be on Cleveland. Mm -hmm. That needs widening. Mom's yeah. Hill Drive needs sidewalks to yeah. walk down. Is we have to acquire the right way, I guess. Yep, and there's and I can leave this for y'all, but there is uh I what this individual's uh, name is, but it's uh, about a it's 20 pages on how to uh, how a, a city best implements this policy and it goes through all the procedures from the basics of why you want it and what it does to how to acquire additional land and then how to implement it and how to you know you know if you got acquired right away or widening of the roads private property it walks you through all of that so it has a, it has does not seem to have been an issue for Tupelo or Hernando uh, they're the two I checked with. So. Well, the way I would understand it is we wouldn't, we don't, obviously, we don't have to make Moss Hill, exactly. expand Moss Hill, but if we were to do that, this would, would enable us to receive grant funding in order to expand something like Moss Hill. That's right. That's exactly right. I mean, y'all Because you have a plan and a thing. commitment in place that you're trying to do that. Obviously, we're not going to do that overnight or commit to doing that overnight, but if we were to want to do that one day, yep this would give us a better ability to do that. Yeah, this would provide you with additional resources you will not otherwise have. Can I just make one comment about that? Mm -hmm. All it is really is saying that as city leaders, you are committed to the walkability of your community, that any new construction, like I just asked Bill, his new construction, that he had sidewalks to the front and he did. You're not held to anything. You're not, there's no money out, there's nothing, but. You're just adopting this philosophy that you believe in walkability, you believe in safe sidewalks, you believe in crosswalks. It holds you nothing. It's kind of like being a tree city USA. You're just checking off these boxes, and if you check them off, then you get you are a complete street community, and therefore it opens you up to funding and stuff. It's just a resolution. But it, it does need the policy does need to be you know incorporated as part of the comprehensive plan or the implementation of the comprehensive plan. It's it's not full of teeth, but it's not without teeth either. I mean, it, you know, it's a resolution. So if we build a new sidewalk, we need to build it right in accordance with what we say we're going to do. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yep, and you, you've got yourself, you've opened yourself up to the additional funding that may have been a roadblock or a barrier to completing that project in that way without it. This year, I see uh, it's, uh, it says if we overlay or any new road construction would be a four foot wide paved shoulder on new construction, which wouldn't be that big an issue. But in a resurfacing, you said you'll add a four foot paved shoulder on any resurfacing. That's a big added cost, and a lot like the mayor said, or we may not have right away there. We'd have to purchase right away and redo the ditches. And well, as long as you're more willing to, as long as you're willing to do the the I guess the moderate lifting of securing the grant funding, it wouldn't come out of the city's pocket. Or it wouldn't cost you any more than it would otherwise. I mean, even if you're talking about matching funding, the part you're matching probably what it would cost you if you didn't have to do it this way. And then that's what, what this grant funding is attached to this for, is you've got cities that have the same problem. They're like, look, we can't do this because it's too much money. And they're like, no, 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 we're going to help you. We're going to help you cover the additional cost.
Yes. Uh, Mr. McTunney, could you, we, we talked about grant money. Uh, can you give us an overview of, of, of what those sources would be for grant money? Who they, who they are and, and why they do this and what kind of, what kind of money they have? Yeah, so it's coming from a, a variety of different sources. Uh, I'll give you one example that I've looked into, and it's a complete streets um, group that uh, donates money for, it provides grant funding for any city that makes their roads and sidewalks more accessible by bicycle. Mm -hmm. uh, then you, you know, you've got a bunch of different options. I can give you a list if you want. Oh, I, I'm that. not in the business of writing grants. Yeah, I, don't I don't know what the list of might, but at some point I'd like to see that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Eric, yeah. do you know anything about this year? Eric loves it. He was just telling me how much he liked it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think so, like, for example, it says uh, resurfacing or reconstruction of roadway when roadway traffic is greater than 1,000 vehicles per day. Mm -hmm. um, does anybody in the room know? I mean, are all roads basically 1,000? I mean, like, is Moss Hill Drive? I imagine that's probably. Yeah, I mean, you'd have to refer there. to all traffic. I'll show you like a traffic study. So, in other words, if we repaid Moss Hill Drive, then that means we're committing to doing this, basically? Uh, yeah. No, 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 hold on, no, 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 no. No. That's that was the interpretation that Will was concerned with, um, no. or with the resurfacing or reconstruction of a roadway when the roadway traffic is greater than one thousand. Says a four foot region. wide paved shoulder shall be included with construction or with resurfacing. Well, I is that get or there. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what to tell y'all. I know what other cities have done. I know that it's been a good thing for them. Uh, if Moss Hill Drive stands in the way of a bunch of grant funding opening up, then I guess it is just is what it is. Uh, I guess a counter argument to that is if Moss Hill is repaid, maybe it should be widened or a shoulder added. Um, oh, I, I agree. I don't agree. think anybody's ever called Moss problem. Hill Drive safe. So, I mean, this would give you the additional resources to do that. Do you know anything about grant business? Yes, it's just, it's just, it's, it's, I mean, Moss Hill Drive, unless you want to make it walkable from Moss Hill Drive to the city, then you, you would give it sidewalk. I can't see sidewalks being on Moss Hill Drive. I think it's just, if, if, I don't think, I know, if you want to do bike lanes and MDOT comes in and it's doing the construction of it, if you're complete streets, they will include the bike lanes as they're doing the construction. Does that make sense? Yeah. I mean, it, yeah, it's, it's not. Well, uh, they do it on any street. street. I, I mean, any street has got a thousand vehicles a week. Him not with. Yes, if they're, if they're doing a project and, and we are a complete streets city, then they'll just go ahead and MDOT or whoever's doing the project, they'll, they'll, that's not extra cost to that. I think you're kind of overthinking everything. It's just, it's what like, it's like, if we got to get recertified, once you're a complete street, it's not like you get recertified. You have to check the boxes off every year that you've done so much, but it's in the comprehensive plan that we need to strive to be a complete street city. Yeah, I guess that's the other thing to add to this is it's, it's consistent with a commitment this board's already made. It's just giving y'all additional tools to do what you said you're going to do. So, Bill, Jean, you said in the comprehensive plan, it says that we will do this? One of the recommendations oh, at the okay. end says to start striving to be a complete streets community. I make a motion to table it. This is the first I've seen it. I right, got a motion to table for further discussion, I guess. Please. Until further discussion. Do I have a second? <clears throat> we have to have a second to, to discuss it further. I mean, can we discuss it? Yeah, uh, this motion, we have to have a second. But he's motion to table it until everybody can look at it a little. 
Right. So, can I ask him another question? Mark? The devil, yes, I had not legally, but there's a motion to be all right. All right. There's a motion on the table to, uh, but after we, if we get a second, we can discuss it further. If not, we're going to die for lack of a second. Do I have a second? Okay, most of the guys would like to say. I just ah, you ask a question. Mark, what is the, what's the time frame on this? Are we in a hurry to do it? Look, no. I support it, obviously. I would support yeah. this. My thing is, I'm really disappointed that it was laying on the desk when I got here, and that's the first I heard of it. I, I mean, I just. Did Joe not talk to you? No. Joe. Joe Davis. Did he not talk? He's on the commission with us. I thought he'd spoken to you about it. No. Okay. I mean, that's, about that, that. that's my thing. I think it's a good thing. Right. I know what you're talking about, what yeah. they've done in other cities. Right. But for me to sit here in 10 minutes. And no, I get that. I didn't know but you But is there a time it. frame that this has to be accepted? No. Where it makes it a big. No, nah, there's not. I mean, other than we just like to keep moving forward, but there's no, there's no deadline on it. Certainly not. Uh, Mark talked to me about it a, a couple of months ago, and I should have talked to you all about it, but I I, I, I just thought you were, you may have told, I don't really remember what our conversation was, but I know you talked to me about this. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I, I thought maybe you talked to them about it as well. Um, but I think it's it's common sense that we need to support it. Um, I'm happy to uh, discuss it further uh, if we need to. Um, it doesn't, as far as I can see, <clears throat> legally commit us to anything other than what we should be doing, which is to, when we build new things, make it accessible. Um, so, um, uh, <laughs> I, if we, uh, what, what, what are the things, Will, that we would need to discuss if we're going to take a look? What, what are the things that you're concerned with? I just would like to read it. I just, you just got it. Okay. First time I'm looking at it. Drew, did anybody talk to you about this? Not that sure. I recall. I got a good question. Not, not, I mean, not, not this. Did Moses not talk to you about this? Okay. I have a quick question. I hadn't read that not only you have a copy of it, but if we were to just tweak a few words here and there, take out the words shall, that we will work with, which makes it sound like we're committed to doing something on each street, uh, and put it in more aspirational terms, that we can want to do that, but of course we'll have to look at the feasibility of it. Is that still acceptable for them? Are we allowed to make changes? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Is this so? Is this yeah. uh, is this a resolution that that y'all adopted, or is this something that Complete Streets? What is Complete it, Streets? What is yeah, so it's, it's a called? A, it's a movement. I mean, it's a Complete Streets movement. It's a, a loosely affiliated organization of people with different apparatuses that provide grant funding and assistance in, in the passage of, of these type of resolutions and policies. So this is actually a, we used a form uh, that had been provided to Hernando. And so mm -hmm. we used, that. this is worded exactly like Hernando's is worded. Okay. Um, and two blows. Oxford is, Oxford is like five pages long. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, I get, yeah, I guess if the concern is that this is the first time people have seen it, they want to take some time. Um, yeah, and I understand we're, that. If we're going to uh, table it, let's just, I mean, we just need to make a commitment to when we're going to make a decision on it and not table it forever. You know, that would be my thing. Just next month. We need a motion. Yeah. Why <laughs> do you just bring it back on the agenda? We have to have a month to do that. To some degree, bring it back. Yeah. Let's do that more. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, I completely I understand that. I did not. I thought someone had talked to you and briefed you on it. I thought someone had talked to you and briefed you on it. So I apologize. I'm like, for well, that. I want to read it and understand it. But I, I to be it honest it. with you, I think I understand it, but I'm not 100 sure. And I will support it. It's just I appreciate that. No, I, honestly, I'd have been worried if y'all without <laughs> reading it. And they're the only thing that bugs me is that it does say read surfacing. Is that over? I mean, we overlay streets. I know all of them don't have a thousand vehicles. Yeah. I'll say them all sales clues. Oh, yeah, that one definitely. And it needs somewhere to walk because they ride bikes and walk on it all the time. Yeah. Well, and also, I'd hate to 
you know, with the best intentions, make a mistake and not do it on the road that we say we're going to do it on, right. and it costs us the grant money down the road. Right. You know. Yeah, I mean, I think that is something mm -hmm. that, that y'all should discuss and, and think about. If you sign up for this and you got anybody, you know, willing to give you grant money, whether it's matching or just straight grant money, you don't have to pay back or match. Uh, you know, four complete streets and you do it here, but you don't do it there and you, you know, then, then yeah, you're probably going to get it yanked or be asked to pay some back. So, if you know, if you sign up for free money, you got to do what they, you know, what they want you to do. Um, and I think so, probably if I want to do Absolutely. <laughs> sure, definitely. right. I completely get that. Look, yeah. look all of y'all have my, my number and my email, so if y'all have any questions, I'm happy to answer any questions, concerns. If you want to, you know, walk through the particulars, we can do that. Um, but I just appreciate y'all's time. Yeah. You know, I've got to get to Ecru. So. Thank you, Thank you. Sorry. Sorry. All right. Okay, next on the personal appearances is Clark Beverage, Buddy Skelton, or Wayne Whit. Good afternoon, Mayor and Alderman. Appreciate your time uh, sure. today. Uh, my name is Wayne Whit. I'm the general manager of uh, Clark Beverage Group of the New Albany branch. We have about 10 to 15 branches in Kentucky, of course, Mississippi. And uh, this is my co-worker, Buddy Skelton. He's an area manager over the New Albany area. Uh, we want to thank you guys on behalf of Clark Beverage Group for what you guys do for the community here in New Albany. And uh, we've got you guys some drinks. We've got a case of drinks mixed up for you guys. And I have a list of names who they're for. Uh, Buddy, research that and give it to us. Yeah, Will, help me with it. Uh, thank you, Will. I appreciate that. And uh, we've got y'all drinks in the case of water for Christmas. And thank you guys for all what you do. I really do appreciate it very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. you have a Merry Christmas. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. They're downstairs. Appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, let's move to the departmental business. So, item one is approved pay request number 12 from Robert Construction for the new municipal building of $278,163.37. You gonna do them all there? I'll let you do them all. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's your yeah, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna combine those. Combine I'm, gonna get, I'm gonna get one and two out of the way. Jeff read the first one. The second one is uh, a pay request for KJS construction for the Carter Avenue lift station, the amount of seventy nine thousand six hundred fifteen dollars and ninety four cents. We can just put those two together. Okay. Now. All right, I have a motion for those first two. Motion by Kevin Dale. Any other questions or discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. I've got a couple of change orders on the municipal building. It's items three and four. Uh, the first was change order number six. It's in about $9,024 to, uh, that's going to be to, to, to Robert's construction. And that's to, um, for the, the addition of Surveillance monitoring. So, chief, again, I think it's just to get wires and conduit and everything in place for the surveillance equipment that you want to add. So that's change order number six. Change order number seven is for the exterior concrete, uh, the, the drive through, and the work we're doing on the front parking lot, and then out of $133,000. You want to do them two together? Yeah, if we can get both of those approved. Okay. Something. No motion, my will, to have a second. Same with Drew. Any other questions or discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carried. Uh, item number five there is a change order on the wastewater treatment plant. Uh, again, you know, we, we've been using the plant since May. We're just waiting on final acceptance. There are a few cleanup things at KJAX. They're, they're the primary uh, contractor there to finish up. And during the course of the project, there has been five or six different things we've had to do out there that have uh, created you know, just some kind of cleanup change orders. This is within the contingency budget of the project, and there's money there to pay for. With this change order number two, in the amount of forty-two thousand five hundred dollars, we'll get all of our little additions we've had along the way cleaned up. All right, I have a motion by Drew. I have a second. Second by Keith. Any other questions or discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Mayor, item number six is, uh, and I have integrated communication. That, that's to relocate the radio equipment uh, for the uh, for the police radio. I think that's some of our light gas and water equipment as well to move the uh, move the console 
to the new PD dispatch area. It's in the amount of $26,000. Uh, again, we, we did get that bid. Uh, we had a competing bill that was ASI, and this was a low bid for the work. All right. We'll move. Yeah, the motion by Kevin Dale will have a second. Second. Second by Will. Any other trip, uh, discussion? Questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Item number seven, uh, regarding our new substation over Highway 348 called the Northeast New Albany substation. We already uh, advertised for material for that, and I think we have a list of that somewhere. So. Uh, circuit breakers and relay panels that we're going to be advertising for. It's like for permission to advertise for that material. Okay. So I'm going to move my wheel. I have a second. Same with parts. Any other questions or discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Here we also hope in the next month to be able to start advertising for material for our, for our electric system communication project that will be to uh, build a fiber network around our electric system. Uh, and we've, we've got the conceptual design that we think will be completed in two or three weeks, and we'll, we'll get a preliminary list of material. We'd like permission to advertise that material when we have the list. Okay, let's wheel the board here. So, motion by Will, second by Drew. Any other questions or discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Oh, Mayor Marshall County, dog. Transportation is getting ready to do a bridge replacement job up there, and uh, one of our gas mains is parallels that road. We're going to need to relocate the gas main. MDOT will pay for that relocation. We've already got a design approved with them, and they're ready for us to advertise the project. If y'all will okay. give us the authority to do that, we'll advertise for a contractor. Got a motion by Keith to have a second part. Any other questions or discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Yeah. Any opposed? Motion carriers. Mary, the next item is up there on some of our emergency repairs that we've had. Uh, we, we spoke about the Apple Street well at the last meeting. That work is ongoing and hopefully will be done at the end of this week. So at the next meeting, I'll, I'll have an update for that. Uh, there are some other updates we've had in the last few months that I do need to kind of close the loop with on the board. I've actually got five different invoices. I'm going to I'll read off the company in the dollar amount. Ms. Frankie, I'll get you all the information you need. I, I, need, I just need to get these ready to the minutes. So, um, you know, we, we had a, approval on file repair. Uh, Donald Smith Company, this is uh, for uh, emergency repair on the Butler Street well, for the amount of $19,100. Another Donald Smith for the Sports Flex well with the motor burned out there for $11,130. Donald Smith for a repair at the well here behind our, our office, about $6,627. Lucky Pump also uh, had work on that repair behind our office, amount of $5,990. And then Paul Smithy Construction, when we had the leak, uh, the, the big leak down here at Highway 30 and Bankhead Street, we had to get their equipment in to fix that leak, amount of $5,132. Okay, Mr. Will. Uh, motion by Drew. I have a second. Here. Same with Kevin Dale. Any other questions or discussion? All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Uh, Mayor, the last item is a new, new hire request. I would like to hire Rodney Colfar for the electric department on the right of way crew. Okay. Motion by Kevin Dale. I have a second. Second. Second by Will. Any other questions or discussion? All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? That motion carries. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, next is community development. Bill I uh, sent that reports out uh, earlier today, but I did want to say that we had the best Christmas parade I think we've had in yeah, a long time. And I want to tell Johnny Tate that I've never had so many phone calls and texts and comments that you were the perfect grand marshal. So I just want you to know people appreciate what you do. They need to start signing autographs. I know. know. And you made a little street named after you. We're ready to come out of the same mothership. I got got zero total score points. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Appreciate it. All right, police department. 
He don't really have anything like this, man, other than it was a, kind of a, I guess, my fault on the last time. I guess this was back about three or four months ago. We got all the vehicles, the excess vehicles we had, both seizures and uh, police vehicles were to take out the fleet. Well, and the, what happened was when we actually swapped, there was an airport vehicle that was one of the city owned vehicles that kind of got swapped for another vehicle and it kind of got left in the mix. So I'm just asking again for permission to sell a 2006 Ford Crown Victoria. It's been down on the lot the last day. She's actually done this two months ago, but I just now got caught up. And I asked the board or the mayor, is there any other vehicles, or maybe one that's come up, is there any other vehicles that, that you want to be doing? I don't think uh, Mary's style is back here. Yeah, it's, it's, why I'm doing this is my yeah, plan. My plan is tomorrow to give Miss Frankie. We, we start announcing. Reagan, do you remember what the legal date is? I, we have to run this legally. Is it 15 days or longer? What do you want to do? Basically, put put these vehicles up for auction like we did the last time. These are abandoned vehicles. No, these are city owned vehicles. Oh, I don't remember a deadline even existing. I just think you have to. Uh, Running it up. I, I, I thought yeah, it was at least for 15 days. I could be mistaken. It's and, been a while since I looked at them. So, I, so I, we'll get together tomorrow. So my plan is tomorrow to start it. You know, I'll get with Reagan to, to make sure we have the right amount of data, start publicizing it, put it on Facebook video. Uh, Billy Jean and Tracy, if they'll help me with that, kind of sort of put it back out on social media for visiting yeah, it's a number of days. Yeah, it's been a And so have good sum what we did last time to dispose of both the 2006 Crown Vic, Four Crown Tory, and Two thousand five, I believe. Okay, that's what, and I'll be glad to do that too. One day. Thank you. We need uh, most of them. Most, most of my crew. I have a second. Sure. Second, my Kevin Dale. Any other questions or discussion? All in favor? Uh, Any opposed? And most of Thank, Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Part and Rich, ain't you got anything? No, sir. I don't have anything. Uh -huh. I saw him doing some construction on the. Flash pad. They are. Uh, rain's kind of holding them up, but they're looking to be done. They're going looking for concrete middle of next week. Maybe we'll put rain for this. <laughs> okay. Street department. Johnny, you got anything? I don't. Right. Middle inspector here. I emailed my monthly report. Uh, the zoning meeting, we had a request from Wild and Free Behavior, Full Three Doctor Drive, for a conditional permitted mixed use. It was approved. We had a request from Tanglefoot Properties at 803, I mean 801 Highway 30 East, for a conditional permitted use for an event center. It was approved. A request from TRY Properties to rezone about 105 acres off of Park Plaza Drive from SN8, MR, AG, and SC to TND N, and it was approved. The zoning and permit fee adjustments, they approved it also. And that's all on the meeting, but I need to set a public hearing for the January 3rd. Is that right? Uh, meeting for the rezoning of the TRY properties off of Park Plaza. All right. Most of the key segment three. Any other questions? All in favor? Aye. Right. Any opposed? And most of the key. Thank you. Set a public hearing for January 3rd. It'll be a new year, won't it? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. There's nothing on the update agenda. Consent agenda, agenda, unless somebody got a question on that. We've paid. So we'll move to the action agenda. Uh, anybody got a storm field for discussion? Update. Okay. And this McCord judge and pro temp judge appointments. Clean, you got a recommendation on it? Judge. It's not for me to recommend. Uh, I mean, you know, whenever I. Matt Harris is our program. Right. Yeah. So recommend him go up. Yeah. Matt Harris. All right, we got a motion to, to move 
Matt Harris to judge, go out and say, thinking about parts. Any other questions or discussion? All in favor? Aye. Uh -huh. Any opposed? And most of the curious. Now we got to set the pro temp judge, who's assistant judge. And uh, Reagan says he has time to do that. Am I right, Reagan? The pro temp? I'm willing to do it. Yeah. Probably three or four people in the world. If, uh, if it, unless y'all got any other. Chris, I see you. Yes, please. Approved. Okay. All right, now, motion by Drew to have a second. Second. Second by Will. Any other questions or discussion? All in favor? Uh -huh. Any opposed? Then motion carries. Okay, let's move down and see. It's approved letter to execute services of Jackson and Creighton for management discussion and analysis portion of all that or all that's going on right now. And I think what they do, uh, you know exactly what they do, Frank? I said it's Yeah, it's kind of checking spots, yeah. I need a motion to approve that, though. Make a motion. All right. Parks, do I have a second? Keith? Any other questions or discussion? All in favor? Uh -huh. All right. Any opposed? Adam D is ceasefire franchise agreement. And I don't know a lot about it. Can you? <clears throat> Well, it's for it was, I mean, Bill and Rick, y'all maybe made some changes to it. We got the first. They're going to bore, and we got some boring uh, ordinances that we need to look at before we approve this agreement. The way I understand that right, Bill, or Eric? Yeah. Ray, what was your recommendation on that? There were some legal issues that. Uh, I think upon talking to everybody, maybe we should just talk about it before we move forward. We need a motion to table or do we just want to? No, we, we, okay. we, we can always come out and deal with it after the executive, but okay. I think we need to save it. Okay. Uh, out of me is to approve request for cash of a $111,231.45 on the Monster Drive project. It's a CDBG project and it goes with Project Rock. And uh, that's their pay request for cash number three. I think we can do EMA yeah. together. Yeah, let's do both of them. Adam F. to give permission to ask for the money from, from MDA or CDBG for the same amount to M&M &M Mexican Baker. So, I got a motion my wheel out a second. Same with Parks. Any other questions or discussion? All in favor? Aye. Uh -huh. Any opposed? All right, Adam G is considered executive session for what? Legal. Legal issue? Yes. All right. I got a motion for Kevin Dale for proof of executive session. I have a second. 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 Second by Will. Any other questions or discussion? All in favor? Uh -huh. Aye. Aye. All right, any opposed? Okay.